pencil. Let's get going. I'm trying to remember everything. And then I'll bring you over. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have the horizon line under halfway. Okay. I'm going to freehand me cabin. So come over here. Now the best way to freehand a cabin is how far you want it off the painting. I want it about that far off it. And how wide do you want your cabin? Oh, I want mine about that wide there. So just put a couple of, and now the, the front side and the side side there. So we want that about, now I want that a bit longer than these, okay? Because that's gonna keep it in perspective. And there's our horizon line, roughly. It's, it's just gonna be a simple, we've gotta have a, the roof about here. Okay, and the, the floor of it about there, the front of it somewhere about there. And we want a roof, just a gable roof, but I'd love to, I love mine to have a, a gable overhang roof. This is just freehand. Find any cabin you want for this painting, okay? Down there and down there. All right, I can make the, guts of it longer when I'm painting it in. So there's our cabin. Now this, like I said, this is going to be quite a simple painting because it's live and I like to keep my lives not too technical because it's only me here working. No one else is here to help me. Bit of a make-believe line across there just so we can get some kind of door in there or some kind of opening and maybe some kind of window in here as well and our bottom's going to be about there and there's going to be some old tree now this is kind of a snow scene so there we go we got that done uh, i want to mix up some paint it's up now down on the palette i've got a cup of tea and i've got no water so i'll grab some water that's just in case i need to wet the brush a little bit and add some pizzazz to the canvas now I want like a, I'm going to get a bit of grey, alright, so we've got some grey here, some white, some craft white, and my putter on a brush. Okay, all the way over here. <laughs> alright, now if you want these brushes that I use, message me on Facebook and I'll get the ball rolling for you there. It's all done through PayPal. They're 45 US dollars. That includes all the shipping and that. That covers all the cost to get the brushes to you. Now, here we go. We've got the craft paint, right? This is gonna be the snow in the background for the sky, but it's a bit overcasty. So I'm gonna slowly add the darker color to the lighter pile. Don't do it back to front, otherwise you'll use too much paint trying to add a lighter color to a darker color. Now, see this gray? I'm working out how whitey grey I want it. No retarder in this, there's no clouds, and that's like a, um, a grey white colour. I'm just going to get this putter on a brush, it puts it on, see, it don't muck around. Get at least to the horizon line there. Roughly where my cabin is. I've just used a graphite pencil to pencil it in. Okay, and that is our Sky. Our snow driven sky. Now I'm stroking it left and right, just left and right like that. Get all the brush strokes out of it. Beautiful. Now what we can do is probably, I want to get a bit of burnt umber. Some burnt umber and some more craft white. I buy this stuff by the gallons and I just keep putting it into this bottle. It's just soft acrylic titanium white paint. Um, now we want, I'm not even gonna wash that brush. I'll just get this over here and I wanna get a tinsy bit of my burnt umber flavor for the ground cover, which is indicating all the wood tree matter which might be in and under the snow. All right, so let's get this right onto the canvas. Now you saw me scribble a bit of a doodah picture in there and there's me horizon line there like that. So I'm gonna, Keep this within there and get this flavor going in the bottom half. This is a real simple painting for a beginner. 
or even an advanced beginner that just wants to do something quite simple and easy. It's one of those paintings less is best. You know what I mean? All right, and we've got the horizon line there like that. Now the cabin's gonna be the last thing we put in, but we've got the cabin drawn out there so we know where to put some shadow colors and bits and pieces like that. I'll just show you what I mean. I'm gonna use this putter on a brush still and probably get a bit more of that. And let's just, I'll tell you what, if you haven't got this brush, message me and buy some. They're bloody brilliant. Now, just roughly where the, the cabin's going to be, there's gonna be some bits and bobs of darkness like that coming out from the cabin like that. Okay, see how easy that was? Now there's no paint on the tip of this brush. It's all been pushed as we did this. Now I want to temper that into there like that. We can add detail later. We're gonna add detail later. That'll come to play later on. Uh, what's next? Now what's next is I can pretty much dry this and get the background done and then I'll bring the cabin forward. Grab some titanium white, your normal titanium white. Okay. Those folks who've been supporting me on um, GoFundMe, it's going good, we're halfway there. It's fantastic. I've bought a new camera, but I'm not using it for lives because I don't know how to use it for lives yet. Now I'm just gonna grab a bit of paint like that. This is just to put a, a lovely, is it still wet? A lovely um, element in the sky, pure white. That's why you don't use pure white in your paintings. And we've got like a, you know, the sun, but it's behind all the mist up there within the sky and grab any sort of brush dry and you wanna taper the edge, wipe it as you go. You wanna taper the edges of that out so you've just got that bright glare within the sky. And it's, you know those overcast skies you get and you've just got the sun peeking through saying, get out here you're going. Well, that's what's happening here. And we've just lightly dabbled that away. It's just a simple element, less is best. Look at that, beautiful, eh? All right, back onto the next bit. Uh, has that dried pretty well? That's dried pretty well. Now I want a flat brush and I want to, um, probably this, this flat. And I want to create all the trees behind here and we're going to use burnt umber as well. So I'll grab some burnt umber. So it's pretty much all burnt umber in this and some white. Get it the flavor we want. All right. And we're gonna pretty much just come across and get these trees dancing along the back way out there in the distance there. Okay, very simple, very easy to do. And a lot of this simple subjects within this painting is gonna to come together and make a painting that looks quite good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Less is best, that's what I'm trying to get a, through into this painting. Now I'm trying to get, not blobs, I want some distinct dark lines there within those blobs, just like this. Very simple, very good beginners painting this one. Stay on the line, Ian. See there, they look a bit blurry and blobby, don't worry. You're going to fix them up with the, the sharpness of it all. Let it be a bit light for your first pass, that way when you're putting the, the sharp ones on, they'll stand out, if you know what I mean. All right, so we've got our trees there. I can detail them later. So you can see what's happening. They're in the background, far, far away. Put Malcolm Buck up in his bed there. Now, what else do we need? Now, we'll get this tree going there. So I'll grab a liner brush, my liner brush, and just some simple burnt umber. I'm also gonna grab a little bit of black down here on the palette, just in case I need black. Now, the colors will be in the description below for the replay. And get some of this here. Now, when you use a, a script liner, it's always good to ink it up and always roll it onto the brush so it's at the tip of the brush, the tip of your brush is loaded, okay? Now, I don't want that too black. 
and we're going to put a simple but effective tree here. Oh, good coffee that. Now, uh, we'll get Malcolm again. Uh, how high do we want the tree? The roof's there, so I want the tree about here. So we'll have the main, it's always best to come upwards, twist as you go. See, it's not inky enough. See how that broke? That's a good indicator to say, well, it's not inky enough, we'll go again. Twist it as you go though, because it's pulling all the paint off the brush. About there. Now that's inky enough because it's not breaking. Uh, so I want to get a lot of, um, try and keep this straight as well. Oh, I've got the paint all the way on the other side of the um, palette there. Oh, see that's too wet, see how it's gone a bit bleeding? I'll mix some more paint into it. Branches coming out here from this tree. I'll come across here, come across there, come up there. See, crisscross them all the way. There we go, that'll do for now. You get the gist of what the guru's doing. All right, now we'll give that a little bit of a dry. Okay, giving that a dry. Now, you need a scratchy brush. I've got a deer foot. I bought this from the art shop. It was called a deer foot. It even, well, it's rubbed, oh, there you go, deer foot, because it looks like the hoof of a horse or a deer. And But why I bought this one, it's scratchy. I'll show you what it does. Now, we've got our paint here. And you want to get, see all those dots? That's what you want. You don't want big blobs. So I'm going to lightly add all these dead twigs onto it. See that? See how easy that was? Get a bit up here. Soft. Come in the tree a bit. This just does good lots of millions of little twigs to save you doing it with a single brush. Out there. And not too thick in the middle, but give it some substance. And that is our, oh, you know what we can do, which we should do? Just put it, whoa, 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 I've gone too dark. See these trees here, you wanna get it in front of them. Now also, I'm just, see the, the bottom of my trees here? I'm just trying to darken them up a little bit here and there. Get some darkness just from the bottom, but not all the way up to the top. Just so when I put my um, ground on, it's gonna sit them back like some distance there. I've, so far I've just used white, burnt umber and black in this painting. Because you need depth within your gear. That'll do, that looks all right, doesn't it, eh? How's that looking, quite simple. Why does he have gloves on? Because, see all this paint? I don't like it getting on me hands. Plus, it's just more better for the camera to see a hand, a paintbrush, than the painting and nothing else. That's all. I've been wearing them ever since I started painting. Now, we need another flat brush so we can block in our cabin. So we're gonna use a, a good, simple brush. I'll use a wide one. I've got a, several flat ones here. Black gesso. Okay, black gesso is that black paint. Here we go. Don't even need that much, but I'm going to use this. This dries quick, it dries flat like a chalkboard. And then we're going to map in our cabin. So we'll get him about there. There's the wall. Boom. And the roof. Oh. 
coming all the way down there, the gable, that part of the roof is a gable to gable. Uh, we're coming here, up the side wall there. Now you want this roof, I wanna go to there, to there. Use the edge of your flat brush to cut it in, boom. Coming down the eave line, boom. And then we want to come, well I've got black on my hand, I better be careful. I want to come down here a bit. And then we're going to come up from this corner and jingle and jangle that to there. And at this stage, look at it, and if it's looking okay, fine. If it's not, try and level up the roof or the angles of it. This is just doing it freehand. You can do vanishing points if you want. Uh, if you're good at that, you do it the way you feel you can do it and what makes you happy. Now I'm going to look at that and just see if it's reasonable. I want to get this one out a bit more. Just hope I've got no paint on my gloves. Wet paint on my gloves. There we go, get that out there a bit more. Okay, now I'll just dry that. I'm going to um, go from dark to lighter colours as I'm painting this one. Just need a bit of paint in here somewhere. Something's not quite right there, there we go. Uh, so, now it's a brown cabin with snow on it. So I wanna grab the appropriate flat brush. I'll wash it out. This is all just flat brush work, this one. And me, me put her on a brush. Uh, I'll grab some more burnt umber down here. Now, where are we? Burnt umber. So I'll get it just a little bit tainted with some white there, not too much, because I want a lighter value of this and a darker value of this. All right, let's get there. And we've got to keep those blacks in there. All right, so we'll start. Make sure I've got no paint on my hands. See this? That's an overhead gable there, right? So I want to keep that. I'll just line it up to that point there. Okay. I'm not worried about coming on this roof because this front sheet of the roof, I'm going to finish last, okay? Now, we got that. We want this. Let it scratch. Don't worry about it. Come hard and soft, whatever, whatever. Once I finish this, you'll get a gist of why and how I did it this way, okay? I'm barely touching. Now I'm back on touching because I wanted a bit out. There we go. Boom. We've got some wood there. Now we're going to come down this way now. Uh, just so as we don't muck up our... Um, bottom area there, and we can have confidence in our brush strokes. I'll just quickly put that there, right? Because I want, I really want wood, looking wood. So we'll come across down here now, nice and scratchy, boom, straight off the paint. Now we're gonna have a door there, so we can just stop it about there. Because where's, that's about there, there. So we'll come down, bang. Bits of timber everywhere. Now we're gonna come across here now from the roof. There's our roof. That's gonna to come to here. So we're gonna come, I'll leave that black line there just so you get a gist of where the corner is. Scratch it down and leave a bit of a window in there as well. So we'll, we'll 
This is very easy and a lot of fun to do and very satisfying. Now we'll do the, get that window a bit better. Okay, now see along this eave line here, we need that a bit darker, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of black within that, brown. Just putting a little bit of black with it. So it's a lot distinguished darker because from here we need that to be darker. Just flicking under there like that. Once we put all the light colours on this then it's going to go bang. Straight to there like that. And just sort of, I don't know, I might get some, not too much, I want some probably darker pockets within here. Scratch them in. Where are we? About here somewhere. That'll do, nothing too much. And I just want the subtlest line coming down this gable here, so we're there. Right up to that point, okay? Now it looks a bit funny at the moment, but when I get the roof on, you'll see. Also, I want to finish the walls. They looked so dark. Right, so now what I'm going to do is grab the paint that I use for the brown and mix up some brighter colours of that and try and find where the snow would be hitting. Now, let's go about here. Very gingerly, very lightly. Very gingerly, very lightly. Now come down. Excuse me, I was going to burp then, but I'll probably be a bit rude if I burp. Now there's all snow on here as well. Bits of snow caught. There's some caught on the ledge of the opening of the doorway there. How's that looking? Now we're going to get some... I want some on the ledge. There's a bit of a ledge on the window, so let's make that up with build-up of snow. And see what I'm doing now here. If you think, oh, I've done too much white. I've sort of made a nonsense out of it. Just go back over it with the darker colour, that's all. That's the corner there. I might have to adjust some of this later. And above the window can have a little bit there. And now I'm going to wipe that brush and then add some white to it. A bit more mixing up that colour, a bit more brighter. Just to put some brighter spots around our cabin now. I want some snow there. This is where we start finessing it. And we'll get some. These boards are going this way sort of thing, but some of them are more built up with snow than others. Now what I might do is just get the sky in there, right through there, you could see right through the building. And I will have to adjust some dark and bright colours, get some white on here, just on this very edge. Leaving that black there. 
That's why I'm using the flat brush. They're so good for this. Now, see this side of the roof? We want it, the white that's been tainted with a little bit of the burn umber. We're going to come from here all the way up to there. Bang. All the way down here. Bang. Love doing huts for some reason. Thank you very much, Chastity, for your super chat donation. Super Chat is enabled in these live shows, so if you want to show your support, do what the lovely Chastity did there and sh send your support through. It helps me out quite a lot. Now we're going to come from here now. We want to keep this reasonably straight and then we'll colour it in. <laughs> colour it in, eh? All right, so down here. If it's your first time here, hit the like button, share and subscribe. And if you like what I'm doing, you'll be sure to tell your friends and family. But uh, if you're one of those people that don't like what I'm doing, you tell everybody. Now this will need a bit of a dry, but you get the gist of what's happening to the roof there, don't you? Hey, it's looking a bit like a, uh, let's fix it up a bit, you're a bit of a, if you want to, Get these artistic strokes in there. Come on, yay. This is gonna be pure white at the end of the day. Okay, we're getting there. See, my roof is a little bit bent. This could have come out a bit more, but I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Now, where else do we got there? We've got some, I'll just put some busyness within the window there. Fix up some of those dark bits that went a bit stupidly. Now see the bottom? I'm just gonna wipe that brush. I'm gonna grab the dark brown and a little bit of black again. And I just wanna come from the bottom very gingerly. So when I put the shrubs against the structure there, they'll stick out like they're supposed to. All right, getting there, getting there. We'll pull this tape off. I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the, the very dark brown with some of that black in it again. Not many colours in this, huh? Get it dark, not too dark, but dark enough. And just try and make up Yes, there will be Friday Night Lives there, Stephen or Stephanie. Okay, so from here, you want to start putting your junk in front of it. In front of it. In front of it. Put some, let's, and a, a lot of this junk over the, there, there. This is all in front. Coming out there. And we're going to taper it away. Leave gaps in there, up in front of there, show distance. Scratch it now, get the edges scratched. Bit more. And we're just junking up where it's meeting the ground, up there, up the wall a little bit. Some behind and coming out, scratching it out, okay? Scratching it out, keeping it horizontal. So you're pretty much giving your painting a horizontal refreshment of beautiful brush strokes like that, see? And we've kept them horizontal, which is left to right. There we go. We can also, if we want, just put in some matter down here, just to break up the bottom down there. Just some matter some dancing off here 
Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Sorry. I forgot to cut the um, grass in at the back there. Not to worry, we'll get by. Not the grass, the, the snow. So I'll wash that brush vigorously and good. Uh, how long have we been going for? 40 minutes. My goodness, time flies. I'm going to grab the, the white colour, just the white. It might have a little bit of brown, but I want to get the snow now out here. Just... on the ground. Now this is, I better use titanium white because that craft white, see there, it's a bit transparent. You can see through it. You want proper white for your paintings. And now with this color, we're just gonna add the snow where it needs to go. Bit in there, tucked in there. Cut all this down in the distance there, it's snow on the ground. And then we can, let me have a look at that. It's still in the bit, it's still in the bit. And we want to get some under here, just placing snow all over the ground. Just like this, not too much. Just try and govern where you feel it's got to go. Some in there. And this is a very simple painting. I, some of my simple paintings I, I like better than the ones that got a lot of sauce in them. There we go, how's that looking in the monitor? That's not too bad, we got the snow look. So we'll get a little bit under here I could see. This is another bit you can always touch up. Now, within that junk that you put all over here, snow's got to be hitting that. So now we've got to find some little brushes and something. Oh, my coffee's going cold. Oh, I just saved that one. Get some... Something we can do scratchy bits like this. Bits of snow hitting, hitting stuff in on all this dark colour here in front of the wall there. It's just all rubbish and junk there. No one lives in here. They moved out because it got too damn cold. This is just titanium white I got here. I'm just junking it up here. Try not to get blobs like that. Just scratchy, hairy business. Just make it look like busy junk that's got snow sitting on it. Can use different brushes. I don't know if this is the right brush, but some here inside of this. You can even do a dead stick hanging out there, a wagon wheel. Get some snow on here, laying across the windowsill. Get some banking up here somewhere, more snow. Now what I need to do to finish it off is grab the titanium white on my flat brush and get this roof finished now. We've done that and it's had time to dry. So now we want this nice white snow on there. Bomb it up. Start from the top, just let it break away if it has to. It's just snow falling down a old corrugated roof. And this is sort of rustic, it's got brush strokes in it. When you're looking at this in real life, you could see the art effects in there, the vibe. It's got the vibe of art going on within the painting. And that's what you want to see in a painting. You want to see all the, the vibe of it all. Now see, you can see a little bit of dark creeping across there. That's got to be gone. There we go. And we'll start from the bottom. Pull him up as well, just so it's all textured and torn and looks rustic. How's that looking? 
I was going to say, you can put a chimney on there and some smoke, but the bloke moved out because it got too cold. Now we could probably have just some little bits indicating it's sitting on top of the rafters under there. Bits falling on the ground. There we go. That's all right. We could probably get some out here as well. Not too much. Just leave it, Ian. Leave it alone. So hard to leave things alone, isn't it? What about that tree there? If you want, you can, but you might kill it. Leave it alone, I want to say. There we go. How's that look? Now, I'm going to grab my um, autographing brush. I'll grab the dark brown. I'll come over here. Chastity Burns, thank you very much for your super chat donation. Much appreciated, sweetheart. Cyber hugs and kisses to you. Now I'm going to put my autograph here. And just remember, check out the links in the description below. They'll be there for the replay. All my paintings are for sale. When you buy my paintings or the brushes that I use, you're helping support my channel and you're help keeping me here. Okay, keep a look out for my Friday night lives, 8 p.m. at Perth, Western Australia time. So look at your world clocks and adjust yours accordingly if you want to be in the live show or the replays are always there as well. And we connect, I connect with all my followers there. That's where we all come and be one. All right, we'll whack a frame on this and just see how it looks. Oh, I'll tell you what, the frames do it justice, don't they? Now that ain't too shabby. Look at that. We've got a snow scene, just a cabin in the snow. Something simple. You can change it up, mix it, and make it your own. This is just something I'm showing you what you can do. All right, it's that easy. And you know what? What you've just seen here, it costs you nothing. All right? And I know you can do it. All right, I had a lot of fun painting this. I hope you learned something throughout this little video here. Message me in the comments below and check out the links also. And like I say, if you like what I'm doing, you tell your friends. But if I've offended you in any way, you tell everybody, all right? Goodbye, good luck, and good on you.